there's a line in the middle from top to bottom. There's this little purple line. That purple line right there is what we call the mean arterial pressure. It basically is the median between the highest and the lowest. Now there's a way to calculate that. You take somebody's blood pressure, you get the 120 over 80, boom. We can calculate this purple line with this formula. Now there's a couple of different formulas how to calculate mean arterial pressure. You can go look at them if you want. I choose to teach this formula because I think it's simpler and it's more compact, it's easy looking, right? So mean, and here's a little animation right here. You can go and view that later on. So that purple line in the middle is called mean arterial pressure. It's the median pressure in the vessel. And it's calculated by dividing what's called pulse pressure by three and adding back to this number, the diastolic pressure. So out of this formula, the only thing that we really have to know is what is pulse pressure. Well, pulse pressure is pretty easy. If you know your systolic pressure and your diastolic pressure to get pulse pressure, all you do is subtract from your systolic pressure, the diastolic pressure. So subtract diastolic from systolic, you'll get your pulse pressure. So if that was say 120 over 80, your pulse pressure would be 40 because 120 minus 80 is 40, right? So then you divide that by three, which I don't have a calculator in front of me, but if I remember right, it's somewhere around 13.3 or something, I forget. You guys can pull the calculator out later and do it. And then all we do is add back this diastolic pressure, which is 80, if, we're, if the pressure is 120 over 80, textbook. So ultimately, your average textbook mean arterial pressure is 93.3. And what is the unit of pressure? 